Good evening. The first Atlantic Region ranking was released on Wednesday, and the Mercier's men's basketball team sits in third. Once beaten, IUP is ranked number one. As for the Lakers, they were on the road taking on Seton Hill. Mercier's in complete control in the second half. Jeff Planutis buries the three-pointer from the opposite wing. He finished with 20 points, as did Michael Bradley. More from the perimeter game by the Lakers. This time it's Nick Lang cashing in from downtown. He poured in 19 points. Mercier's continuing to pull away from the Griffins. The Lakers, great find on the baseline to Aiden Riker. He's able to knock down the mid-range jumper. Then the Lakers keep finding holes in that zone defense. Reichert again with another baseline bucket. How about one more time, but on the other side, it's Reichert with two more as he would chip in with 13 points. And it's number 18, Mercyhurst, rolling past Seton Hill, 84-62. The Lakers will close out their regular season Saturday at Gannon. Speaking of the Golden Knights, they were on the road as well, taking on Edinburgh. Early on in this one, Gannon's Thomas Whitley. Connecting on the three-pointer from the corner, he had six points. Golden Knights off to a hot start. Past the midway point of the first half, Gannon up five. Edinburgh's Kirill Green with the baseline drive and jam. He had 14 points. Knights were up three, though. A few trips later, Demetrius Mims with the finish for the Golden Knights as they were still up by five. Then later on, it's Mims scoring again. He had 25 points to lead all scores. Gannon up by two at that point. Early on in the second half, Scott's up seven. McDowellgrad, Jack Gallagher able to find the way to the rim as he had 11 points in 33 minutes of action off the bench. Dominique Keyes was dominant as he's able to get the bound and the slam. He had 18 points, 17 rebounds to lead the way for Edinburgh in both categories. And it's the Fighting Scots holding off the Golden Knights 83-78. It's about heart and pride, and, and I thought our guys showed a lot of it tonight, you know. I mean, it would have been easy to fly the white flag, but the guys responded, and they played with a ton of energy. We definitely came out slow, and we started hitting the three really well, and we play our, our 11 zone because we know they're not shooters. They're trying to get downhill. They got some athletic guys, so that was really good for us and rebounding and getting it out. We haven't been able to pull through with the uh, W lately and everything, so to get Gannon back, especially at home, feels great.